every time you take a medication, your body has to find a way to get rid of it. One of the most important organs in that process is the liver. This process is called hepatic clearance, how efficiently the liver removes drug from the blood. Pharmacokinetically, hepatic clearance is defined as the volume of blood cleared of the drug by the liver per unit time. To understand this, we use the well-stirred model, which describes hepatic clearance as in this equation. This equation balances how fast drug arrives at the liver, which is governed by the hepatic blood flow, how much is free to be metabolized, and that's because only free drug molecules, not those bound to proteins, can diffuse into hepatocytes for metabolism as protein drug complexes are too large to pass through hepatic cells. And how capable the liver is at breaking the drug down, which is indicated by the intrinsic clearance of the liver. Drugs can behave differently depending on these factors, and we will use the hepatic extraction ratio concept to help us understand that. The hepatic extraction ratio tells us how efficiently the liver removes a drug from the bloodstream during a single pass through the liver. If the liver removes all of the drug, the extraction ratio is 1. That's 100% clearance in one go. Based on this value, we categorize drugs into three main groups. High extraction ratio drugs. These have an extraction ratio greater than 0.7, meaning the liver removes most of the drug very efficiently during the first pass. Low extraction ratio drugs. These have an extraction ratio less than 0.3, meaning only a small fraction of the drug is cleared by the liver on each pass. Intermediate or moderate extraction ratio drugs. These fall between 0.3 and 0.7, indicating a partial removal by the liver. For high extraction ratio drugs, since the liver extracts the drug so well, the only real limiter is how much blood gets there or the liver blood flow. Even if you increase enzyme activity, it doesn't matter much as they're already clearing the drug maximally. Therefore, hepatic clearance for drugs with high liver extraction ratio can be represented by the product of liver blood flow and the extraction ratio as shown on the screen. From a clinical standpoint, drugs with a high hepatic extraction ratio exhibit extensive first pass metabolism. This often results in low oral bioavailability as a substantial fraction of the dose is extracted by the liver before reaching systemic circulation. Additionally, because hepatic clearance in these drugs is flow limited, any reduction in liver blood flow, such as in cases of congestive heart failure or some liver diseases, can markedly increase systemic drug concentrations. This makes inter-individual variability in hepatic blood flow a critical factor to consider as it can significantly affect drug exposure and therapeutic outcomes. For drugs with a low hepatic extraction ratio, only a small portion is removed by the liver during a single pass through the circulation. In these cases, hepatic clearance isn't limited by blood flow, but rather by how well the liver can metabolize the drug and how much of that drug is actually free and unbound in the bloodstream. That's why hepatic clearance for these drugs is defined by the following relationship. So, if the unbound fraction increases, for example due to displacement from plasma proteins, more drug becomes available for metabolism and hepatic clearance increases. Likewise, if the liver enzymes are inhibited or induced, Intrinsic clearance will decrease or increase respectively, directly affecting how much drug is cleared.
To sum up, hepatic clearance tells us how well the liver removes drugs. It's determined by blood flow, protein binding and liver enzyme activity. It predicts how disease, drug interactions or enzyme activity changes affect drug exposure and thus it directly affects dosing, bioavailability and safety. Master this equation and you'll master one of the most important tools in clinical pharmacokinetics. Be sure to explore the other videos in our biopharmaceutics playlist for more clear and engaging explanations. Till next time, and as we always say here at DCT, stay fabulous wherever you are.